Hey guys, I'm Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different spot today. I'm in my boyfriend's room. But today I'm going to show you how to grow long, healthy, shiny hair. And believe me, this took a while. Um, but it's definitely very healthy. And when it's straight, it's like down to here. I just curled it today for the video and I'm doing a photo shoot. Uh, so make sure you follow my Instagram for the pictures. About three or four years ago, I cut my hair to my shoulders and I've been growing it out ever since. And I have a bunch of really good tips that you guys will want to hear. I'll save my biggest one for the end so that you guys will stick around. But it's like a game changer and it's so easy and it's free. So make sure you listen to that one. All right, so when I get out of the shower, I'll show you the products that I use. I just use a detangler this is the one I have right now frizz ease daily nourishment leave-in conditioner by John Frieda and since I have long hair I just I drench it in this stuff it's best to wait till your hair has dried a little bit so that it'll soak up the product more and I personally do not brush my hair um, never ever brush your hair wet because that's when it's the most damageable and it'll just break your hair so at least wait until it's dry if you're gonna brush it but I find that using my fingers to just kind of comb through my hair is less damaging than an actual brush and then I also use this argan oil of Morocco and this one's really cheap from like QFC or literally whatever store unlike the expensive ones from Sephora so you guys should just look for one of these at the store you'll want to try to limit heat to honestly as much as you can I only use heat on my hair like once a month right now which sounds crazy um, I used to straighten my hair all the time so I know how crazy that sounds but honestly you get used to it and you get creative with your hairstyles you fall in love with your natural hair and it's just a lot better for you so maybe start out with once a week and then every other week and just kind of see how much you can limit it. But when you do heat style your hair, it's so important to have a heat protectant. They're actually kind of hard to find at the store. There's usually only a couple different brands, but this one I think I ordered from Amazon. This is an argan oil thermal protector. It says smoothing anti-frizz, heat protector for natural hair and extensions. Make sure you get this all over your hair, you know, comb it through with your fingers so that it reaches every strand because the worst thing is that heat tools cause a lot of split ends. You'll also want to use shampoo and wash your hair as little as you can. Aim for like two times a week. I usually do like two or three depending. Um, but your hair will get all greasy at first when you don't wash it for a couple days but it gets used to it really fast and it won't get greasy anymore because the shampoo strips your hair of the natural oils which help make it healthy and help it to grow longer so just try to limit that you can still shower get your hair wet massage the roots even without shampoo because it stimulates the follicles and will make your hair want to grow faster and then you can still use conditioner I am very generous I use like a puddle like this big of conditioner just because I have long hair and you just put it all through make it super drenched in conditioner I tie it up and then I do the rest of my shower leave in the conditioner as long as you can five ten minutes and then wash it out you'll want to get some kind of a hair mask which I just ordered one it's on the way but hair masks are really important to do once a week. Again, you can do it in the shower, but leave it in as long as you can. Those are better at like 10 minutes. So if you're going to shave, you know, put that in first and then shave, do all that to give it as much time as you can. If you want something that's overnight, I haven't done this in a while, but it's amazing. You just take coconut oil, which you can find at like Trader Joe's, and it'll be solid in the jar. But you just take out like probably like this much and you just warm it between your hands and it liquefies really fast and you just put that all throughout your hair massage it into your roots and just drench it and then put your hair up in a bun and you can actually sleep in this and I would just put a towel over your pillow and then wash it out in the morning and it's actually not hard to get out of your hair at all it only takes like two shampoos and your hair will be left so soft and it'll smell really good You'll want to use non-damaging hair ties. There's a bunch of options like scrunchies or these little stretchy ones or the hair coils. Try not to use the regular hair ties because those really pull at it and have a lot of tension on your head, which will make your hair break and not grow as fast. 
You'll want to make sure to get constant trims, which is difficult when you want to grow out your hair. I mean, because you're impatient, you're like, well, if I want it long, why should I cut it all the time? My hair is actually not that fast growing naturally, but I was getting trims every three to four months. I would just get like a half inch and they would always tell me, well, your hair is so healthy and that really worked for me. So you should try to get those constant trims. If you think about it, your hair comes from your body, so what's inside of your body really makes a difference. Try to drink a lot of water, eat your fruits and veggies, and that way your hair will be healthy from the inside out. Alright guys, are you ready for the game changing hack to make your hair healthy? So I've done all of these other steps, but there is one thing that just changed my hair after one time of doing this, and I do it all the time. At the end of your shower, turn it to cold and get your hair really wet. Now, I know that sounds terrible, but like I have removable shower heads, so I'll take it out and just turn it to like freezing cold and just do it, you know, from here down so I don't even get it on my scalp. And it just makes it so much stronger because if you think about it, like the pores in your face, cold water closes them up like they close up your hair follicles and that will make it less prone to damage it'll make it stronger it'll all lay a lot flatter so it'll look shinier and it just it's amazing i mean after you do it one time you'll notice a difference i'm not even joking so just do that at the end of every single shower all right guys thank you so much for watching my video um i have a lot of other videos on hair if you want to check them out I also vlogged me getting my hair blonde, um, which I just did like a couple weeks ago, so you guys should check that out. Alright, have a great day everyone, make someone smile, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!